Uh, Barb, um, an exciting presentation, Titanic memorabilia back in the Saugine Shores area. You must be thrilled. I am thrilled. And it goes back to actually 1996 when I was reading a, a brochure from the uh, Toronto Boat Show. And it mentioned about a Titanic exhibit. And I contacted the contact person and I said, who's the curator of this collection? Could I talk to this person? So she gave me the contact information, and and I called the curator, Steve Santini, and asked him if there was any way that the, the Bruce County Museum in Southampton, sister city of Southampton, England, would be able to rent this exhibit. Well, we opened the exhibit in the spring of 1996. But that wasn't enough. In 1998, on the way back from a hockey game at Lion's Head with one of my children, there was an announcement on the radio that there was going to be a new Titanic movie by James Cameron and that there was going to be a theme song that Celine Dion would sing. And I thought, is that too much? Is that overkill? Do you think, do you think we should bring it back? And we did. That was the best year ever in the history of the Bruce County Museum. And I honestly believe that it was the Titanic exhibit so ushered the excitement of uh, two county council and of, of what money, putting money into an event or an exhibit can do for the Bruce County Museum. And I really think from that day forward the Bruce County Museum really moved forward in an operational way. It's got to be a coup that you've scored again uh, some of the artifacts on the 100th anniversary when I'm assuming that museums around the world would be clamoring after these uh, materials. Well, I had this in, in mind for a year or so and of course I, I do know uh, Steve personally. Uh, we have a good friendship and I asked him about the idea about having the Titanic exhibit back and and he was all for it. So, of course, he doesn't have as many artifacts today as he had in the, the former exhibits we had, but you know what? It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. And we've also, we're creating um, uh, something very new here, which we're just as excited about, and that's the object theater, which you'll see tonight, where the artifacts will actually come to life. The, uh, we'll, we'll have a story about the Titanic, and in that story, which which Richard Thomas has produced and researched and narrated by Steve Santini, but it will actually highlight the, the artifacts and the story about the Titanic. So it's not just about looking inside a case and reading a label. It'll come to life, and this is our very first, and we want to incorporate this into our exhibit design process. And will that continue, like you have this, until the fall? Will it continue until the fall under that format? That's right. It will be in our Bruce Power uh, Theatre until mm -hmm. September 3rd. And uh, what would you say to people who are coming to see this exhibit? What, what message would you have for them? Well, because it's the 100th anniversary, I would like to I would like them to view this exhibit as a memorial to those who lost their lives. It's it's not it's not always about making money and people going through the museum. It's I want this to be a memorial. Look what we've lost. Look what they've lost. And um, yeah. Do you do you have a favorite? Uh a favorite item, memento, um, that's on display? Well, I've always liked jewelry, and there's an absolutely beautiful white star line ring in there. <laughs> so, 